Hey there guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are going to be checking out what would happen if Venus collided with the Earth. And obviously this would be a extinction level event and it could even take out the entire planet as a whole and wipe out life forever. It just depends on what type of collision it is. If it's a full-on collision like we're about to see, or if it's just like a graze pass collision, but not a full collision. So we are about to see the collision. I'm going to slow it down, take some observations. Is there any tidal forces at play? There probably would be. We'd see a whole bunch of huge tsunamis due to gravitational forces from Venus. Uh, some tidal forces would cause the Earth's surface to rise. And even more effects are likely. Um, so let's go ahead and continue the simulation here. So as you can see, the impact zone is going to be just about in the middle of the mid-Atlantic Ocean. So that being said, the whole planet is toast at this point. But let's see the on impact results here. So straight away, you can see the Earth heats up. A ball of fire engulfs the Earth, wiping out all life instantly. Mind you, this is 30 seconds per second. So the heat totally uh, it reveals the mantle. And if I pause it here, you can see that we have a huge bright light. Nearly four times, five times, even six times larger than the Earth. And that would obviously wipe out all of life on the planet instantly, just because of the intense amounts of heat. And as you can see, we're starting to get shockwaves on the other side of the planet, and the mantle is even starting to show. So yes, it would be a huge event that would wipe out all life on Earth. Obviously, the chances of this happening in real life is very, 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 very slim, like nearly 0%, maybe even totally 0% in our lifetimes. And as you can see, it looks as if Venus has actually gone straight through the Earth. What is this? This is crazy. It's like rebounding or it's just gone straight through the planet. Just such a big object. Obviously, this would take a mass away from the Earth or mass away from Venus. The temperature is so huge, it's gone blue. That is saying something that that you can't get away from that. And looking around the planet, but not totally around the collision zone, you can see we've got huge fragments coming off the collision. This would probably start to orbit the planets. I'm not too sure what will happen to Venus in the long term. Mind you, this is in terms, oh look at that, it's actually going in for a second collision. How about that? So we've got two separate collisions going on. My assumption is it's going to sort of merge into one. Oh look at that, it's going through again. So it, it doesn't know what it wants to do. My pick is it's going to go for in for a third time. Unless this is just a bug in the game. Oh, nope. Okay, so it looks like it went in for a third time and that was the final time. Look at all these fragments. They're so bright. Wow. They, they, they look like stars, but you know they're not. It's just matter coming off the earth. Obviously. Everything would be destroyed, everything we ever worked for, human life would cease to exist unless we're actually um, exploring the galaxy and our solar system by then. I'm assuming these fragments are going to come, f some of them are going like, to start to impact the planet shortly, and some will also orbit the planet, but that would be insignificant compared to what just happened. There wouldn't really be a huge impact in terms of the planet. And as you can see, it looks as if continents and stuff still exist, but surely not, right? 
surely not after something like that. What's the earth going to look like after? The mantle is cooling down. That's why you're seeing the uh, the orange sort of fade away. And this would likely throw us out of orbit as well. It is very likely that the planet possibly could recover after this. But as you can see, it sort of looks like our moon now. It's sort of like there's water, but there's no absolute clarity that this was the Earth. So like if alien life came to this, I'm not even going to call it Earth, I'm just going to call it this planet, then they wouldn't know that this likely happened. So over time, I would expect the water to actually freeze. Whereabouts are we in our orbits? So it shifted orbit. Obviously Venus wouldn't exist here, but we've just launched Venus towards the Earth instead of using the actual Venus. Um, we are going to go ahead and we are going to view the habitable zone. Boom. Whereabouts are we in terms of that? We are still in well in the habitable zone. So a recovery in thousands of years could happen. However, it would evolve back to bacteria matter. Obviously, we wouldn't see lights as if nothing ever happened. As you can see, that's just a bug in the game. We would not see any of this at all. You sort of see um, a few remainders of New Zealand, which is where I'm from. And again, you can't see um, Australia very clearly. Because, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see anything very clearly that resembled the Earth. This is just textures being a bit messy in the game. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this wee video looking at Venus colliding with Earth. Unfortunately, the game is not perfect and some textures are still applied to this game after such an impact like the lights. That's clearly the United States. Obviously, the United States, you wouldn't be able to tell that it was the United States. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.